My students conference with me a minimum of once a week. We like to conference at least two or three times. Um, more is certainly fine. Um, we Again, we go through the checkpoints. We look at where they're performing, if they're struggling with anything, if they don't understand a concept or a certain skill that we're reviewing, and we also use that time for remediation. They are also challenged with being able to provide me the evidence. They have um, multiple options for ways that they can show me mastery or show me evidence that they have succeeded in a certain area, and so they have to bring that data to our conference. So they have to be able to prove that they have successfully completed a skill or an area of the pathway. Uh, so I do conferencing in my classroom for several different reasons. Uh, I conference for house projects, at least try to do it once a week. I also use a Google Classroom to conference with them to keep up with their, their work and make sure they're on task. Um, I also do it, you know, for missing work or student maybe falling a little bit behind. I try to use the time then to talk to them. Uh, to get, make sure they're staying on task, they understand, make sure they don't need me for anything extra. Uh, also, a uh, conference with my advisory group. Each teacher has an advisory group, and we meet with those students once a week. And I try to talk to them about their grades. You know, why is your grade what it is? We look at, you know, if they're missing anything or if there's a certain content strand that they don't understand, and then I can actually help and maybe tutor them a little bit. So that I conference them with them for several different reasons.